Diane, try to keep his quarters in. He's losing his lead behind Diane because he's swinging his butt out. Try to keep his quarters in. Little more angle in that shoulder in, Mackenzie. More angle in your Ron Bear. I didn't hear. More angle in the shoulder in, more angle in the Ron Bear. Both of those were, like you gotta really make a shoulder in angle, you gotta really make a Ron Bear angle. I'm videoing a little bit so you can see it. Okay. Then Diane, put your collection in, your extension in, and keep the quarters in on the corners. Better, much better. Good angle, Mackenzie needs impulsion. There's the snort. That's what I need. Now show me two speeds of canter, Diane. All right, now collect enough that you can walk and tap him with your whip, Diane, if he tries to break before you're ready for the walk. Good for you, Diane. Yep, keep the quarters in. He swung the butt out. Did you feel that? Yes, but I mean, when he's throwing me up in the air, it's hard to keep my legs down. All right. All right. Okay, Jenny, Diane finished with Yago riding that square through. Okay. It was not graceful, but it was Okay, and then move on to some canter warm-up. That was better angle and better forward. Quicken him. Quicken his tempo, Mackenzie. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mackenzie will just ride around you. <laughs> Debbie's not here today. You're over flexing his neck to the right, Mackenzie. Okay. In everything, in everything you're doing. Like, keep cantering. Look between your two reins. Is he centered? In his neck between your two reins, or is his neck pooching out to the left? It's got to not be pooching. Better, Mackenzie. Good correction. So far, Mackenzie, you've only cantered to the right. Those simple changes help. Hey, Julie. 
you get to ride yesterday? No, I had terrible cramps. Oh, yeah, well, I, for one, can relate to that. It's okay, just make a correction. All right, and you can bring him to walk. Good. All right, loose reins. All right, so let's talk for a minute. Give me your scope on your 